today I'm here to talk to you about tinnitus. Now, tinnitus is a common problem that affects about 1 in 5 people. Commonly known as ringing in the ears, it gives the sensation of hearing a ringing, buzzing, hissing, chirping, whistling, or other sounds within the ear. This condition isn't necessarily a condition itself. Rather, it is a symptom of an underlying condition such as age-related hearing loss, ear injury, ear infection, or circulatory system disorder. As for the causes of getting tinnitus, you might be surprised because although tinnitus is associated commonly with hearing loss, it does not cause nor hearing loss nor does hearing loss cause tinnitus. In fact, some people with tinnitus experience no difficulty in hearing, and in a few cases, they even become so acutely sensitive to sound that they must take steps to muffle or mask exter external noises. Some instances of tinnitus are caused by infections or blockages in the ear, and the tinnitus can disappear once the underlying cause is treated, such as an acute infection, ear fluid, perforated eardrum, or an ear tube. Additionally, long exposure to loud sounds can also cause tinnitus, and a single exposure to sudden extremely loud noise can also cause tinnitus. Tinnitus can also worsen in some people if they drink alcohol, smoke cigarettes, drink caffeinated beverages too much, eating of certain foods, and for reasons not yet entirely clear, stress and fatigue. It is often worse when background noise is low, so you may be most aware of it at night when you're trying to fall asleep in a quiet room and in rare cases, the sound beats in sync with your heart as well. Once again, here are the tinnitus symptoms. The phantom noises in your ears include ringing, buzzing, hissing, chirping, whistling, or other sounds within the ear. Now, there are many kinds of tinnitus, but the most notable ones are these two. The subjective tinnitus, wherein the ringing is something that only you can hear. This is the most common type of tinnitus, and it can be caused by ear problems in your outer, middle, or inner ear. Objective tinnitus is the second type, and it is a rare type where your doctor can also hear what you hear when he or she does an examination. This type is likely to be caused by a blood vessel problem, an inner bone, inner ear bone condition or muscle contractions and if there are a lot of kind of kinds of tinnitus then here are also the many types of traditional medical treatments that you can try to use to treat tinnitus but first you have to see a doctor to make sure that you do have tinnitus proceeding to these medications we have some such as tricyclic antidepressants and alprazolam and yes, though they may help you cure your tinnitus or at least lessen your tinnitus, I have to warn you that using tricyclic antidepressants cause dry mouth, blurred vision, constipation, and even heart problems, while the use of alprazolam can cause drowsiness and nausea, and it can also become habit forming. And again, if there are traditional medical treatments, then there should be natural home remedies as well. Well, there are, so here are some of them. Now you can start simple, such as removing earwax. Now, removing said earwax is known to decrease tinnitus symptoms. You can also try suppressing tinnitus using white noise, such as the sound of rain or the ocean. This can be great when on pillow speakers in your bedroom for when you sleep. Fans, humidifiers, the humidifiers and air conditioner in your bedroom may also help the internal noise at night. Now, if you want to know more about tinnitus help and how we can help you, click the link below. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that this helps.